What's up guys? Mason the Brock Anderson here with some more Bioshock Infinite. So last time out we finished up the main story and it was very mind bending and twisty and made my head hurt. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest, I still don't fully understand a lot of what happened. I hope to eventually actually look into it in a bit more detail and maybe maybe have another video on that in particular. But some of the stuff that I did piece together based on some of the footage that I looked through a second time is I didn't really understand the whole Booker or Comstock distinction, what things were certain and what things were, I guess, as Elizabeth put, variables. I think the constant was always if Booker was not baptized, he stayed Booker DeWitt, and it seemed like the war really messed him up. Like everything that happened, what happened at Wounded Knee as well. So if he didn't take the baptism, he essentially wallowed in that and the self-hatred of all the horrible things he did and kind of seemed like his life fell apart. I don't know how he had a kid. We never really got seemingly any indication of a wife or a girlfriend. So I don't know how he had Anna. For some reason or another, he ends up giving Anna to Robert, who is working for Comstock. Now, a couple things that I don't really get from that is they just they sort of blew over it. Why did Booker think that this was a good idea, I guess? Seemingly, he decided not to receive the baptism because he felt like there's no way, you know, anything that I've done can just be washed away by you know, being dipped in some water. So why did he think giving his daughter up would somehow make up for all the bad stuff he did? Because I thought he was giving his daughter up because he, he needed money for some reason or something along those lines. But for him to do that, I don't feel like they really explained his full reasoning well enough, at least from what I saw. Maybe I missed something. I think the other thing that I missed when I was recording that I, I caught later is I didn't really understand how Comstock came to be who he was after Booker decided to take the baptism in those other timelines. I think ultimately it's just, again, the war really messed him up. A lot of the awful things he saw and he did, I think, really affected him. And so I think because he was so messed up and then he got religion, it almost kind of twisted his brain in a, in a way that, that definitely took it too far. But so that's why he ended up, I guess, creating Columbia and seceding from the Union, because in his mind, it went against his ideals. And that's just the crazy man that he is. And I think it really would be interesting to see how he was able to get so many people on his side and also how he met up with the Lutesses to begin with, because we know Rosalind was working on her ideas of alternate timelines so she could get back to her brother but how did comstock get in touch with her i mean we know she's the one that created the quantum stuff <laughs> that caused the city to fly but why did comstock want to start looking into these other timelines what made him decide hey i want to go get my daughter from another timeline because i can't have one in this one i don't know how all of that got to that point but maybe there's some stuff that i missed Maybe there are voxophones that I didn't pick up that explain that in a bit more detail. Or maybe we're about to find out how some of that happened. I don't really know what these DLC episodes are going to be about. But we are going to hop into the first one here, the Clash in the Clouds. I don't really know how many videos this is going to be. I think I'm going to finish the first one here and see how long I've been recording. And if I haven't been recording for too long... I might go ahead and jump into the first Burial at Sea episode, but I I don't know if I'm going to get one video for each of these DLC episodes or two out of one. I don't know, but we're just going to kind of play it by ear a little bit. <laughs> but let's go ahead and hop into Clash in the Clouds, Columbian Archaeological Society. Welcome to Clash in the Clouds. Engage in challenging encounters in Columbia, compete for leaderboard high scores, earn money to buy weapons, vigors, and upgrades. Unlock never-before-seen concepts and behind-the-scenes videos. Okay. So this is not actually an episode then. This is just... Ah, oh, a strapping fellow. Perhaps today's festivities will prove you a champion. Okay, so I guess these are just going to be fights. More than likely, uh, I guess let's go to Op Zeal. <laughs> yeah, but this seems more like arena battles than an actual 
story based episode. If that's the case, then I mean, I don't know how much of this is actually going to stay in the recording because it's just going to be a lot of me fighting and not always the most exciting thing to watch. If you purchase an extra life at the at an office door, the first time you die, you'll be returned to full health and able to keep fighting. OK. Well, time to show just how bad I am at this game. Get ready to fight, soldiers. Defeat the wave using Skyline Strikes only. Okay. Blue Ribbon Challenges ask you to perform particularly difficult challenges for sizable cash bonus. You aren't required to do them. I'm gonna do it. Why not? Yeah. I get my shield back. Okay. First. Okay. I can do this. As long as there are no big guys that pop up, I think I should be fine. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are riding on it with me. Okay, so scores the total cash you can earn. Complete blue ribbon challenges and mix up your weapons and vigors to get the highest score possible. Complete high scores in the leaderboards in the Colombian Archaeological Society. Okay. Okay, defeat the wave while only taking shield damage. Oh boy. That's not good. Ah, a pistol clip increase. An ammo increase. Yes, please. Well, since I want to try to avoid taking any health damage. Oh, hello. Oh, here we go. So this is how you activate single resurrection. $500. Obviously, I'm nowhere near, and then I could always always return if I wanted to. All right, let's start the next wave. There we go. So far, so good. Okay, so defeat the wave using only the skyhook attacks and shotgun. Well, alrighty then. Well, since I'm about to use a shotgun, then buy that. All right, let's start the next wave. actually pretty quick now defeat the wave using only machine guns or the crank gun okay got some gear when shooting empty clips have 40 percent chance of auto filling okay oh. and an infusion okay, well i don't see the crank gun anywhere around here so i don't know if i've just missed it somewhere but all right next wave 
I guess maybe it could be somewhere on the map. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Get ready to fight Handyman. Nice. Using only the pistol and hand cannon. Okay. All right. Increase weapon accuracy on Skylines. Cool. And next up, let's go. Oh, we just have the one. Okay. Where is he? Oh god, he blocked me. Go away. Please go away. Oh. Okay, apparently those don't refill. Oh my god. Wait, did he just throw something at me? I did it. That was... A little too close. How many waves are there? Soldiers and RPG soldiers, okay. Defeat the wave without picking up weapons or looting corpses. Oh boy. I think now I want to pick up some some vigors real quick. Got possession, and I'll go ahead and grab Devil's Kiss as well. And we'll increase pistol damage by 25%. Okay, let's hope I can do this. Who's out there? Get him! Can't get a shot! You're going nowhere. Come back. Reload. Oh god. something soon. He's hiding. To hell with you. There, that one.
Got him. Okay. Defeat all enemies using only zoomable weapons while they are zoomed. And we got gear. Melee kills give you health. Well, I won't be doing any melee kills, unfortunately. All right, so I need the sniper rifle and the burst gun. And let's go. Okay. Rip his guts out. Crap. Take this for the bleeding. Thank you. Okay. Unfortunately, I shot that one guy when I was not zoomed in. That kind of sucked. Defeat all enemies using only tears, possession traps, and return to sender traps. I better get return to sender then. I will also get possession aid as well. And pick up another... I'm going to get another salts infusion. There, that would okay. Go ahead and put that on. No, do rocket, no. actually. Yep. Okay. If you die during a challenge, you keep everything you've earned. After dying, you can start over at the beginning, forfeit your leaderboard score and keep playing, or return to the Columbian Archaeological Society. Go! You may still absolve yourself of past mishap and failure. Okay, I'm just gonna return. Okay, so what is down here exactly? Use your cash to unlock items in the Colombian Archaeological Society. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Your very own songbird, let him watch over you. Oh. And unlock the model there. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see. There are these little rifts here that I can buy. So do I have to buy? Yeah, I have to buy these kinetoscopes for two thousand. Well, <laughs> you get everybody wants to rule the world. Shiny, happy people. Fortunate son or tainted love. That's awesome. It looks like you've got statues, models. You got concept art. So this is cool. I don't think I'll be recording myself going through a lot of those challenges though because again i've already proved how bad i am at this game <laughs> throughout most of my let's play so we will go ahead and jump back to the main menu then that that will likely be something i do off screen maybe once i've unlocked everything i'll go back and record some of the stuff that's in there that i think is pretty cool but this very old seat at least seems to be somewhat story based so new game and we will stick with medium, because that's probably as much challenge as I can take. <laughs> We're closed. You don't look the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> What do you want? How about we start with a light? Well, I mean, since you asked so nicely, I guess I'll give you one. Well, you gotta name this. Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. 
But Fontaine's charity shut. No place for him. Fontaine? Hey, no. As I said, girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost it. isn't dead. Name your rate, I will pay you for this work. But you do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. Well, that's... Don't know what's going on here exactly. Why well, we're suddenly in a 1920s noir, but... I guess let's go. Ah! I mean, I seems my instincts were correct. I figured Where's Sally? At I sea. Know, but I know someone who does. Follow me. I figured at sea might have something to do with Rapture, but I did not expect to actually be in Rapture. I, this is really cool, though. The thing is, when we. It's been a while since I played the first two Bioshock games, but if I remember right. I mean, we we were in Rapture after it had been completely run down, destroyed. So I think this is probably the best Rapture's ever looked. Looks awesome. What's right. this girl to you? Sorry. What I need from her is my business. But I know where to start looking. Something Making tells sure. me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Don't want to miss anything, Ryan. you know. <laughs> He's a big fish in an awful small pond, you ask me. Anything you say, pal. If I was running things, I'd say, why just one city? Why not two, eh? Why not three? Yeah, why not three? Okay. Edward thinks the way to my heart is philosophical transcendence. <laughs> <laughs> philosophical transcendence. That's what every woman wants, right? What happened to these children? What are they? Where have you been? Cabin stop. in Arcadia? Green means go. Little sisters. This is Adam the factories. All little girls it's grotesque. Know. That's... Creepy. Hey, I'm, I'm having flashbacks. Moving, hey, you can't tell me what to do. I'm walking here. Oh, I can't go in. Yeah, having some flashbacks to the original... Oh, shock games. Girl, girls were just as creepy back then, too. Come on, come on. We haven't got all day. Let's see. Little Wonders. Cashmere. <laughs> oh. There's this. What do they even One of the big like old guys. Suits. What you mean? Well, I say. You should have to prove you're properly versed on a topic before you're allowed to vote on it. Otherwise, it's just a knee-jerk response from the uninformed. Does more harm than good. <laughs> Who would judge that? A system like that invites... Art, science, and industry. Funny. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, that it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. All right, fair point. Guess I'll press the button this time. Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken. Down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? Cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. <sighs> what the? Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. Just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Refreshments, sir. What? Madam? We're fine, thanks. Oh. 
Okay. Well, that would be very handy to use as a waiter. Against that from his father, no one from my side of the family was ever so lackadaisical. Oh, I suppose I shouldn't have drank so much when... I told her, you want someone to listen to your worries? Buy a puppy. <laughs> Me? I got better things to do. All right. I hope that wasn't your time. Mr. DeWitt. Okay, I'm... I don't I'll find my source inside of that club. I don't think there's a lot of places to, have to do search. I don't know. Private party, no entry without invitation. We'll see about that. I'm gonna get in there anyway. Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected... No mask, no entry. Stuffed shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of, they must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. It says it's sponsored by the artist struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. Okay, we'll head that way then. Looks like there's three local stores that might have received invitations to Cohen's Club. You can choose your current objective from the objective screen. Press the touchpad to access it. Okay, sure, we'll go to the Golden Rule first. What brought you to Rapture? A man. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of dead. Poof! They're all gone. Mm. Invitations to Cohen shows are highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. Okay. Good day to you, ma'am. Hmm, okay, an interesting little ring over there. And, uh, another ring here. What am I doing here? Excuse me. Lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, oh, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18 karat gold ring, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. Really? The center cobachon. Excuse me, sir. That's a lot of fine talk about a stolen ring. I beg your pardon? Right out of her coffin in Twilight Fields. Did Cohen you think we wouldn't notice? Out in some kind of box. The assurances oh. of a grave robber are of no interest to me. If you hand the ring back, the matter will remain between you. Uh, oh. Damn. Must be somewhere else. Hit the bricks, you tramp. I'll see to it they hit you. Get oh. your hands off me! Hmm. Might be best if we were gone when he wakes up. Hmm. Any luck? Nothing. Let's find another shop. It's temporary. Damn. Where should we look next? Upstairs at the artist's struggle or rapture records straight ahead? I really don't know. I don't have any ideas as far as like what this is. I mean, it, this feels like a completely different book on Elizabeth, but I, I don't know. Hi, how you doing? Just uh, looking around. Ooh, very nice piano over here. Strike a key. And play the songbird song, have him come wreck everything here. You see that dish I walked in with? Will you give her the star treatment, pal? It'll make it worth your while. Of course, right away. It's by Trinet, but of course, covered by Mr. Reinhardt. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Oh. Yes. Oh, Gotta find that box. To me. Especially something in James. <laughs> primal, isn't it? Part of us that exists before the thought, before the logic, purely sensual. The finest music uh, touches 
us in place of that we never knew existed. Oh, yes. Can you turn it up? Oh, it's so Masculine. Dang it, place left. I have the urge to surrender. I must go. I must go. Even one more note shall prove my undoing. The guy's like, but wait, I. I wait a minute. I. Don't you want to stick around a little bit longer? Please? Please. I'm so lonely. Oh, okay. Bye. Oh. Nothing. No. Got one place left, though. And if that proves to be fruitless, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. What is this? Maze Mason? <laughs> That's not how I spell my name. What's in here? Bonjour, signore. Hi. What is this? This is something that's going to be a part of the story later. Maybe this is the place that'll have the mask. Oh. Oh, an audio log. Su Chang observe strangest of coincidences. On other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chang's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage. Hmm. But man name of a thing is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property. Two-way street. That's really interesting, actually. Because I think he was just describing how Fink was looking through one of those portals he talked about, seeing some of the biologists at work in, like, a futuristic setting. So I'm guessing that's what he was talking about. Oh. Play slots. Sure, why not? Okay. Best quit while you're ahead. One more time. Oh, all right, one more time. All right, one more time. Sorry, one more time. I can I can stop anytime I want. Damn. All right, one more time. All right, well, now I've got 69 coins, so. The need to know theater. Need to know theater. Taking the taint out of Fontaine. Are you? Oh, I don't need to read these anymore. You doubtlessly sample products from Fontaine Futuristics, but do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind, or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? <gasps> Oh no. His orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The Council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products free of criminal taint. Now you know. Thank you, Andrew Ryan. I'm sure you're a real swell guy. So glad your fact checkers are there to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Anyways. The artist struggled. Just a big giant head. <laughs> Hello. Hey, pal. You want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Interesting, isn't it? The 
original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about art. How does it make you feel? I don't want to open my mouth for fear of what foolishness might tumble out. Whoa. Would you like me to hide in that box? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, I would like so much to understand. Oh, man, I should have drank that. Oh, God. Oh, oh, get some more. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna find that thing. Oh, there it is. There's an ass. Oh, Shall I explain? Oh, yes, please. Tell me everything. You're, you've given me so much to think about. I, I feel a trifle swoony. I do too. Would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? I shall be here at your service. Until tomorrow. Oh god, I don't feel so well. Oh, I need a trash can. Good. You've located the mask. Uh, the charm. Uh, okay. Head back to Cohen's. Fine piece of work back with those shopkeeps. You've got a bit of the grifter in you. For that you can thank my father. Oh yeah. He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. <laughs> Amazing. Well, a few months peace I'm assuming that they're still father and daughter, but who knows, maybe they're not anymore. In this weird alternate timeline. I will say the art shop owner did sound familiar voice-wise. Wonder if I can find out who so, that is. What kind of field you in? Field. Yeah, you know, occupation. Can't imagine what kind of employment would lead you to tag along on a job like this. I suppose you could say I work in debt collection. Hmm. All right. I've got the mask. Ah, very well. Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance. Oh my goodness. So who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who <laughs> kidnaps children. Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen his type. Gets an idea in his head, end a conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. This is disturbing. No creepy. Oh. Dance, dance, move. Can't see who it is. Move, move. That's right. That's right. Be the conduit. Open yourselves to the music, to the spirit of the eternal. No. This is, uh... Why do you fail in this fashion? To embarrass me in front of my muse. My muse shall not be mocked. Fitzpatrick! Please! The stick! If you for God's sake! Ah! My muse shall not be mocked! Get oh. them out of here! There shall be no failure on my canvas. <laughs> oh, there's no room in rapture anymore for the artist. Uh, what do I um am, am I just going to talk to him or hey you I got some questions who are you names DeWitt is that right My... <laughs> this one's a real biscuit biscuit isn't he a biscuit lady <laughs> need to ask you a few questions questions yes yes it is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. You've seen this girl, haven't you? We artists see more than most. You are more than you claim to be, little songbird. 
Are you not? What? Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. But I know the child in that photo is important to you. So many children flit, flit, flit away. I know where the girl is. And I will send you to her. In exchange, all I ask is a dance. What? I see something in you too. Art strips away artifice. Show me who you are, and I will show you where you need to go. Cold, son of a bitch. Mr. DeWitt. What? Um, okay. Dance with me. Come, come, dance. As if we didn't just see those people get killed I for failing. I think what greater price he might care to extract. Fitzpatrick! Beauty and pain. They can be no more separated than birth and blood. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. But those types like the capital of people like Ryan and Suchon. That's a blessing. You saw those little sisters? You so sure? But if Su Chong has Sally, I'd know it. How? Because I tied him to a chair and asked him. So? For 15 hours. I don't know what to make of you, Mr. DeWitt. No, 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 no! Listen, we're not gonna keep- Fitzpatrick! <laughs> I mean, like I said. I see suffering in you. I know. How to shine a light on your pain. A moth will become a butterfly. Well, that's not what you want. <laughs> Down in the briny. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Are you alright? I'm fine. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought... To an artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I'm sending you to find your young one. <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. Nice and ominous. Cool. The shock. Look. Fontaine's. Ryan sent the whole thing to the bottom. But it's a prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Oh, God. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. Takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. No, what's that? Burial, let's see. You read your residency contract with <laughs> Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. You know, that's the name of this little DLC episode, Elizabeth. I don't know if you knew that. Very poignant that you said that. Oh, too comfortable. Keep your eyes open. I've got a gun now, so I guess it's time to start fighting. Seem to be some supplies this way, Mr. Dewitt. It's Booker. What? Just call me Booker. It's all the same to you. Oh, the crabs. Let's leave it at Mr. Dewitt. Oh. What? What the heck is that? Oh, kinetoscope. Sander Cohen's The Black Dream.
I feel like I'm watching an art house film right now. How long is this thing? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure if you ask Cohen, he could probably give you a really deep meaning behind all of that, but, uh... I have no idea what I just watched. Oh god, am I gonna watch another one? Oh lord, the March Hare. All right, well, once again, I feel like I got nothing out of that. So we're just going to move on. All right, R2 to fire your weapon, L2 to use plasmid. Oh, yeah. All the same as before. wonder, can I melt this with my plasmid? I cannot. Look up there. Let's have another look around. Perhaps we'll be able to find something to get us up and over. Okay, so I'm gonna get something similar to the the grappling thing. Oh, there we go. Could be handy. A skyhook. Skyhook? You mean the air grabber? Kids use them to ride around up on the pneumo lines. Air grabber? Huh. Constants and variables. Constants and what? Mm. Never mind. Yeah, she does seem to have an inkling of other timelines. Grab her stuck. Oh, Mr. DeWitt, someone's no. coming. All right, I got the grabber unjammed. Him. I'm not. Uh, Okay. Mr. DeWitt, look. What? Housewares. Oh. That's where Cohen said we'd find Sally. The store ran trams between the three buildings. We'll need to avail ourselves of that. Assuming it still works. Optimism, Mr. DeWitt. <laughs> it helps in situations like this. Okay. Press the button. And press the button again. When did you come to Rapture? Oh, it was, uh, geez, I guess around 51? No, 48? That's a rather large gap. Time. Life I had before. Sort of becomes a blur. Mm. 49. 49 for sure. Uh oh. You look a mess, Mr. DeWitt. Just keep your eyes open for splicers. They can do us a whole lot worse. It's true. Here, little birdies. Eat it up. But it, it's good for you, you know? I've never heard of birds that didn't like seeds. What, what's, what's the matter with you? Do, do you think it's poison? Yeah, I mean, I've been 
I've been calling all day. A ain't he ever in? And sneak attack. Mean? Why? 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 Uh oh. I am terrible with my shots. Ow. Sit down. Where'd the other guy go. There he is. What? Sit down. Mr. Dewitt, look. What? Well, there's the tram. That splicer had no problem freezing a path for himself before. I'm sure he'll be happy to do the same for us. <laughs> I have no doubt you'll prove persuasive. Okay, so we will go get that plasmid from him. Okay, we'll we'll head that way in a second. I do want to search around a little bit. Another burst pipe. Store sunk a few hundred oh. feet beyond its specifications. More pressure, more burst pipes. Okay, so can't come this way just yet. Okay, so I can get possession for less. Oh, go ahead and do that. An ice rink. Be good at places any to look for our new friend. Says it's on the top floor. So we go up. All right. That in just a second. Let's do it. Damn thing's locked. Let me see that. Oh, have matters progressed so little? I could turn this with a rake pick. <laughs> Done. Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's something I picked up a long time ago. Yeah, our frozen friend leaves a hell of a trail. 